What's happening, Captain? This your boy, CB Hunts. And look what just showed up on my doorstep today. Man, we got the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, Batman's The Dark Knight Returns, Robin. This right here is the number two in the in the in a in a four point a four a figure wave of of the uh, it was a horse. As you can see, I got the main main body right here for the horse. Not gonna show that on camera a little bit later because I still need the the Joker so I can have the head, so I can have the head and the uh saddle so i'm already excited to get this bad boy out the box so let's take this inside right now And now we got this bad boy inside. I really do like the type of packaging that McFarland Toys has. I like it. I like how they look like on my wall but this bad boy here is a, actually coming out the box as you can see it's how, it's how packaging that McFarlane has all black box with the uh, with the uh, white and blue, and blue trim you see the figure inside the box it's so the names company and and the name of the fit figure the else side of the packaging show the name of the of the actual comic show the words and stuff with Robin and everything else <laughs> And on the back of the box, shows off like a picture of the actual figure on the actual horse, and it shows with parts of the body of the horse as in the box right now. And at the bottom, showing who's all in this wave. Got about the other side, the side window side, showing the name and the company as well. But trust me, once we get back. We'll have this bad boy in the box. And we'll see what it do with a robin. And now we got this bad girl out of the box. Man, I gotta say, like I said about the other figures in package, they look a little weird, but once you get them out and get them in your hand, they look like 10 times better. So before we can talk about the figure, we're gonna talk about everything she comes with. And you know what makes Fallen Toys, with this DC Multiverse, they come for that infamous blah 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 black stand with the DC logo. Plain Jane. Up next is her card that you got. Showing of off the figure here. So off the ledge, like the type of background it has. See? And on the back, dude, she does have a IO. So if you want to read it, pause it. Here it goes. And now, she does come with the one thing that she comes with, besides everything else. She comes with a a, a slash hat, as you see here. So basically, all she comes with is already in an angle. I don't know if she can be able to hold this or move it whatever instead of having it just just even I don't know why they got it in, in an angle like that so this is basically they have it for her right there so the main girl herself Robin sorry about not being as focused but I really like how this figure looks, especially little her glasses. You can see her eyes real good, that type of lens 
have going all the way around. Nice. See what type of hairstyle she has. Details in her face. I love the old school, the old school classic look of the original Robin. I still haven't seen the actual cartoon yet, so after doing all these reviews, I'm gonna have to go and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go and watch it. But I think I think there's a part one or part two. I don't know if it's the same movie or it's two different movies, but I do got um, HBO Max, so I will be uh, after this. I will be watching those movies right after this. So, so basically, I, I just like the way the figure looks. Heard about the comic books, I know it's real, like uh, uh, um, this where it's real popular, but. I did get another one of this one because I want to make a, a classic version of of of, of uh, Robin. So I want to change her head out and put on put on a different head scope. But like but like once it comes in, but I do like the, the Robin R looks looks old even though it's real big. Look, but it still looks old school with it. Got that old school belt. The black belt with the round circles, have a vest, got them old school gloves from back in the day, and I like how she has like a uh, double arms, you can see there, got on the shorts, and a famous Robin Elf shoes, <laughs> as you got, she has a cape that's all, all big, and kind of got that swoosh going to, to the side. I, will, I, will, I, will, I will wish the cape was actually more down, like down to her side, but hey, it will do. But we really do like how this looks. See the details in the back, it's basically how it is in the back. Quite nice. So hopefully, I'll be a chance to see her in action. How she is in a movie, so I hope uh, hope she pulls her weight like, like like all the other Robins. So I can't w wait to watch. But saying all that, we will go with her articulation. So Robin, she head up that's high, so that that's actually really really good. Make down that far. Does have real good hits, built extremely good. Raises arms up that high. Does have a bicep swivel, double elbows, got really good range. Hinge in the wrist. See there. She does think does have an app punch, but just a tiny little bit. But that shirt, wish the shirt was a little more of a soft goods. You can feel the app punch in there, but it's too hard for a plastic to move. So, if she got if she got a little bit of a uh, lower waist twist, as you can see here, it does the splits that much, keep forward that much, back a little. She has double knees that can kick all the way back. Feet. Go back that far. Go forward a lot. You can see, and she does has a toe hinge. So all in all, this figure here, like if you read the comic books back in the day, I think she'd be a perfect fit. But I know a lot of people will probably go with the more of the, um, the more advanced version of this figure and the Batman because. That version of Batman has two different, two different color uh, variations, but can't afford those. At least you get a chance to buy these right here. And now we come part of the review. We see how other figures look next to Robin herself. And at first, this is like stacking next to the Befallen Toy DC Multiverse. You see, I think, uh, 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 Rebirth, Amy Wayne, Robin. I really do like this figure. Even though it's supposed to be part of the 
the other lines with other figures, but I kind of put him with the um, with the uh, Teen Titans eyeboard open down the line with the, that we get more Teen Titans type type heroes like Beast Boy, Raven, uh, uh, Fire Star. Is it Fire Star? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's Fire Star. Either, 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 the, either the kids or the more or older version, either or or both. I wouldn't mind having them, but I still want the old T Titans, T Titans group. Up next, this is like stack up next to before like, fall into a DC multiverse. Um, can't remember which. Um, version of this one is but I know is is the Nightwing. It's more of the the, uh, the older version of the Big Grayson. We do like this figure. I do got the other version where he, he's in this red and black oh man two pack with uh with a red hood. And last but not least this is actually stack up next to the DC uh, Universe Classics Robin I had this figure for a while I really like this figure and this is the main reason why I want to find an extra head so I can get an extra figure of the new version so I can change it up and have an old school and a new school version as well This is my review of the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Dark Knight Returns Robin. Hope y'all enjoyed this review. Trust me, you boy had a fun time making it. And you know, with every review, I will take pictures. This is my Instagram right here where I will leave links down below. Be going check those out. And the boy is on TikTok where I take those same pictures. I'll post over there. I just add a little bit of flair. This is your boy CB Hunts. Hope you have a blessed one. Trust me, I can't wait to catch you in that next one.